Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a winter capsule wardrobe. I've spoken about why I love the capsule wardrobe concept so much in previous videos, but essentially it encourages you to make the most of what you already own and pretty much every single item you're going to have some sort of iteration of in your closet already, I'm sure, or at least your own version that encompasses your own personal style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through all of the items which I think are really kind of essential to that winter capsule. And then at the end, I'm going to show you some different outfit ideas and ways that you can style them so that you can have a little bit of inspiration when it comes to getting dressed, especially when it's cold, because I don't know about you, but I always find those colder months is when I feel less inspired. I also want to apologize if there's a little bit of an echo. I am filming in a very large studio space and there's a lot of road traffic. But we're going to soldier on and I want to start with knitwear because I think that's sort of the basis of any winter wardrobe and I've got quite a few different types of knits to share which I think are quite versatile and really good key pieces to have. So the first item is two knits which have texture and the reason why I love texture is I feel as though your outfits can really start to get lost in the colder months especially if you're wearing all black or monochrome and as you know I love a tonal outfit as kind of my go-to styling trick so um, knits which have really kind of fuzzy textures I think are very fun. So the first one I wanted to mention is a really good classic cashmere crew. I am filming a Best Basics on cashmere at the moment so I'll be coming at you with that very very soon. This one is from Uniqlo, it's just their classic women's crew. Can't really go wrong and I do love the caramel camel color. I think it just adds a nice bit of warmth especially as you can see. Uh, this is a very kind of subdued palette and just so you know my personal preference is to wear quite a bit of black or darker colors in the colder months uh, but you can easily mix and match and sort of tailor your color palette uh, so that it suits you. This is not a one size fits all and you don't need to have a neutral colored wardrobe in order to have a capsule wardrobe. The second knit that I have here is my alpaca crew. This one is from Everlane and I've had this for a couple of years now. I really love how sort of fuzzy it is and I'm hoping that the texture is showing up on screen. It is so nice and soft. It really is like being enveloped in a hug and the color is beautiful too. This is the almond but it comes in so many different options, some really vibrant choices as well. Then we have the turtleneck sweater or the high neck mock neck sweater, whatever you'd like to call it. This to me is a must-have, especially if it is super cold, it is going to be the thing that keeps you nice and toasty and warm. It's going to be so chunky that you can layer loads underneath and no one's going to be any the wiser. Which, side note, if you are super cold, I highly recommend getting Heat Tech from Uniqlo or I think maybe Marks and Spencers or John Lewis, somewhere like that, do thermals if you are in the UK uh, and I will find a US equivalent as well, but um, if you don't have access to Uniqlo. But, just I think a really good idea if you get do get chilly. So my knit of choice for this video is this one here from Marl. Sadly I think this one sold out incredibly quickly but you'll see it's super duper oversized. There is a lot of fabric here and it just feels like I'm wearing a blanket despite the fact that I'm actually wearing a very chic knit. Then the second to last knit that I wanted to mention is the chunky knit sweater. And I suppose you could say that Mal one is, but I wanted to include another one, something that incorporated a little bit of print. So this is a stripe. Um, you'll probably have seen this quite a bit over on my Instagram, which if you aren't following me, I'm going to put a picture here and I'll have it linked in the description box below. But this is just such a good basic. Um, this one is a cotton acrylic mix, I believe, but it is really nice and warm. And again, another great layering piece. Looks fab, worn loose, but also tucked in to jeans too. The the final sort of chunkier or bigger knit that I wanted to mention is the coat again and I personally love this for days when it is not cool enough to be wearing a coat or when I just want something really nice and warm for in the house. So to me a coat again is a coat length or coat style cardigan, something that is a little bit larger and this one here is from Vince. I bought it pre-loved. I will see if I can find some down in the description box. Everything I mentioned will be linked down there along with my sizing information as always in case you are wondering where anything is from but just a really lovely knit um, this one is a wool mix and it keeps me very toasty especially as our house is pretty cold the final piece of knitwear that I wanted to mention is kind of your base layering knit and you could either get one that's got a roll neck like this one which I have here it is just a very very thin merino wool 
I love Merino because I don't find it scratchy or irritating against my skin. It is very, very fine, so it doesn't add any bulk to your outfit, and it is just a fab layering piece. This underneath, um, and I'm gonna show you in a moment, a slip dress is very, very chic. You can wear it underneath any of the sweaters that I showed you. Oh, obviously, also come in loads of different colors too, um, and you can also just get a classic crew style. So I will link the uh, different alternatives and different places that you can get these as it is just such a cool basic for my own winter wardrobe. Then we've got the sort of silky blouse. So I love silk for the winter months because silk is a natural fiber and it is naturally going to keep you warmer. Um, and that's what I find. It is breathable and it is something that will keep you kind of cool in the summertime. But when it is 40 degrees plus, I find it just a little bit too heavy to wear. And it's one of the reasons why I reach for it so much in the winter. So I have this blouse here, which I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera. It is this very beautiful, dark, deep sort of a navy uh, hue and it just looks phenomenal when it is worn open like this and I especially love that. Uh, really beautiful tucked into things or you could wear it underneath a slip dress which is the next piece I wanted to mention and again this one is silk. This one here is a washable silk slip so very practical. You really don't have to worry if you spill something on it which is something I tend to be quite mindful of as a mum uh, and yeah I just think a really classic style that doesn't date and that you can carry through every single season. So this is one piece that I would wear both spring, summer, autumn, winter. It can be worn all year round depending on how you choose to style it. Uh, in addition to wearing sort of that very th fine knit or that silk uh, blouse underneath, you could wear a chunkier knit underneath like the alpaca one. You could wear something over the top so it's like a slip skirt. You could belt it at the waist, wear it with a blazer. Opportunities are endless and it looks good with basically everything. Uh, so that's the slip dress. Then we have sort of the long sleeved ribbed or knitted dress. And this is something that I've really, really been getting into. I think since I was pregnant, I've really enjoyed the entire process of wearing a dress and the fact that it basically is an outfit in one. You don't have to think much about it. Uh, the one that I'm gonna share, unfortunately, I have this funny feeling it is sold out everywhere, but I will try and find it or alternatives as they do kind of release very similar takes on this. Uh, it's from Base Range and it is a, literally it's a floor length dress, very sort of oversized and loose and kind of chic. It has these splits on the side too, um, which reveal a little bit of skin or if it's super cold, then I would be wearing some tights, um, obviously in winter. Very, very mild here in Sydney though, so do keep that in mind. It's generally sort of, it's been 17-ish degrees, so not too cold, but Love this, can wear it with a blazer, any of the jackets, throw a knit over the top if you want, a coat again. Again, dresses are a good base. Then we've got your denim, and I've got three pairs of jeans to share. They're all different, slightly different styles. So you've got your kind of neutral toned denim. And I really like light wash denim in the winter months. I find that something that is ecru or a creamy color tends to be more flattering than white. Uh, and it also is much nicer to work with other colors because there isn't so much of a contrast. These ones are from Madewell. And these are, I think they're the vintage straight and I like to roll them up slightly at the ankle so that they taper in just a little bit. The second style of denim would be the blue wash denim. And I'm saying just the wash in particular because I do think that the actual cut and silhouette that you choose is going to be very personal to you and to your body shape and actually just what you most feel comfortable in. These ones are from Witchery, they're old now uh, but I like the little frayed detail at the hem and these have more of a straighter fit through the calf which I really appreciate and it's something that I've been getting into a lot more. Uh, so the final pair of jeans is a darker wash and for this pair I've gone for a skinny and I tend to gravitate towards either more of a slim straight or a skinny jean. I find that they work best for me. These ones are from Everlane and I really like the exposed button detail uh, at the fly. I think it's very cool and these are really great for tucking into boots um, which is one of the reasons why I especially like a skinny a straight leg jean is fab if you have a boot with a higher shaft so that you are able to conceal that little bit of skin which sometimes gets exposed in the winter months uh, and you know makes you feel all cold all over. All right, next is 
it's maybe going to be a contentious item, but for me, it's something that I've found really works as part of my sort of winter wardrobe, and that is a pair of leggings. Now, I'm not sure if I ever would have included these before, but I think a lot of it comes down the way, to the way that you style them. These ones are from We Are Commando, but if you wanted a really fashion pair, you could get those very cool uh, split cork leggings from Totem. I decided against them because I have a very short inseam and they look incredibly long, but tons of brands are doing that particular style. Style, and they're just a good layering piece. I mean, I could wear these with that slip dress or that creamy colored dress if I needed a little bit of extra warmth, which again, heat tech, fab, because they do the, the leggings as well. I could also wear them underneath my jeans if I desperately needed to. All right, then we have a pair of tailored trousers and ideally something that is slightly woolen. The pair that I've got, um, I'm actually wearing the black ones right now. They are this dark gray. They're a woolen effect, but they're actually a synthetic. They're very, very good quality for H&M. Um, and I love the fact that they have a straight fit through the leg and then I got mine tailored so that they would be cropped at the perfect length. And these look exceptional when worn with boots. I especially love that combination. Really, really great wearing them with those big oversized knits, but also um, on the same page, they look amazing with something that is a little bit more closer cut to the body or with that really beautiful silk blouse that I showed you earlier. Final pair of pants is a leather trouser. And you know, you don't have to go with black. I um, think that cream ones are beautiful. I have a gorgeous pair from Theory, which are more of a skinny leg, but these ones, I wanted to have an additional shape in this capsule. So these are a straight leg. Unfortunately, these ones are another, another item that aren't available. They're a couple of years old now, but I really love them. The quality of the leather is just beautiful and I just think, again, it's a really great way to add a bit of texture into your wardrobe. Of course, if you're a vegan, then tons of faux leather options out there. And if you want something that is more on the high end or luxurious end, I'm not sure if she still does them, but Stella McCartney always did a beautiful pair of faux leather pants. Then we've got our jackets. Okay, so we've got two kind of more lighter outerwear pieces. We have the wool blazer. Again, I've gone for black because classic goes with everything. Um, this one is slightly oversized in fit, which I like, especially when it's cold because it means you can pair chunkier knits underneath. Then we've got sort of the statement jacket. And this one is where you can have a little bit of fun. I've gone for this dog tooth print one, which if you ask me, it looks very kind of Chanel-esque in its print. Uh, I just think, again, this is from H&M and I do find that they tend to do these sort of tweedy boucle fabrics incredibly well if you're looking um, at all. And I really, really love the way that this looks, both warm with white, with black, with denim. Then for coats, I have this really beautiful wrap coat. I personally like a wrap coat because I think they look very beautiful when they're worn open. Uh, I think that they look very luxurious. <laughs> and they are really nice, like not too heavy either. Uh, this one here is a boyfriend style, so really perfect if you want to layer a lot underneath because it has really wide armholes. Um, it's from The Curated. And then the final jacket I wanted to mention is a puffer jacket. I do think this is 100% essential, especially if you live somewhere very, very cold. This one is from the Jill Sander for Uniqlo collection. It is an amazing down coat with this very cool, detail here at the collar. Absolutely love it. Um, it's in a navy, so uh, it's not gonna have as much contrast around my face, which actually you may have noticed the coat I went for being gray. Uh, I do find that my complexion gets very pale in the winter months, so I like something that isn't going to be quite as high contrast as black would be against my skin. Last thing to talk through our accessories. So, handbags. Two options that I think are essential for your winter wardrobe. One, is the oversized tote bag because you're probably going to be carrying a little beanie, your scarf, maybe a book to read when you're on the train, public transport, etc. Having a nice big tote that you can fit everything in is a must. I especially love this one from Kiana, always comes out on top for me. Then for a slightly smaller option, I really love a little black crossbody bag. Although if you wanted to warm things up, you could go for maybe a really beautiful gem tone or something that is in a caramel hue. Uh, that would easily work with uh, this kind of color palette I've got going on here. Uh, I especially love this one from Linya. It is their Lana bag and it is such a sweet size. Fits all of my essentials in it really, really neatly. And I like the fact that I've got very easy access with the snap pop 
top closure at the top. Then three pairs of shoes. First would be a grey loafer worn with or without socks. These ones are the Gucci ones, but I don't think you need to spend on these. I think that the Sam Edelman dupes are a fab option, a fab alternative to these. I'm gonna link them in the description box too. But if you have the money and you love this sort of a style, you can't beat these. They are unbelievably classic and so incredibly comfortable. You won't get a single blister with these. For a slightly more feminine shoe, I love the ballet flat. And these look really great when you're wearing more of a feminine style and you have a really thin sock, like one of those stocking socks. They look fab worn with stockings as well. And the reason why I especially like these is they have a little low block heel. Not sure if this particular style is available anymore, but I will search for alternatives. Then of course we have the boot and I've got two different options for you depending on what you kind of look for. Or maybe you wanna have both in your capsule wardrobe. One would be the low heeled boot. These ones are from Rag and & Bone and I love the fact that the shaft is slightly higher. So it's going to cover a little bit more of your shin, which to me is fab, especially when it is cold. These look great with socks as well to kind of give you a little bit more coverage up your leg and very, very easy to walk in. The other pair that I have are a flat boot and these are a new addition to my wardrobe. They're from Port and & Pair and are an incredible for the uh, the row Farrah knit boots and that was kind of why I was so drawn to these. They have incredible tread on the sole. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to wear these yet and I love the little sock effect which really hugs the ankle and looks incredibly flattering. Last two little accessories, one would be a great belt. I personally love something with a gold buckle but the one I have here is silver and then of course could not be a winter essentials video without a scarf, something really chunky and cozy. Again, this is an older style that I've had in my wardrobe for a few years now, so I will try and find something similar that I can link below. So that is everything that I would include in my winter capsule wardrobe, or at least all of the basics that I think are worth having. Uh, and this is definitely gonna keep you covered and allow you to create the maximum number of outfits, obviously on a slightly more casual bent. Anyway, with that all said, now I wanna show you some different outfit ideas. that you could create using this sort of base capsule wardrobe. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I would love to know your thoughts, if there was anything that you think that I missed, uh, and maybe what your favorite winter wardrobe essential is down in the comment section below. As I said earlier, every single item that I featured will be linked in the description box if you have any questions, along with all of my sizing information. And if something is old, I will try and link to a similar alternative. Also, if you're new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you back. I share fashion videos every single week. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me, and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.